It's a trap. What's up guys, Al27HD here and we are back with another play review and today we are with the BPL, we are of course with the current team of the week, uh, hopefully when you see this, and we are talking about the centre attacking mid for Sunderland that is Sessegnon in form. So basically, initially we will look at of course card face stats, 86 pace, 87 dribbling, 80 passing being standout, he also has a 77 shot and 72 on the um, heading, so really really cool player, I paid 77k for him in a centre attacking mid position, I converted him to a 4-1-2-1-2, I suspect you would struggle to pick him up for 77k in a 4-1-2-1-2, although I have seen some recently going for as low as 70, so he is an affordable player, usually I go for the uh, top end kind of stuff because I know you guys like to see the reviews of the big players and we do have a Van Persie review out if it hasn't been released already team I'm playing this guy in guys a mix of silvers and golds. We've got Inform Van Persie. We've got Sessegnon, of course. Mayuka, Standard Sterling, um, Mayachi, Diame, etc., etc. Butner, big fucking tank. And we've stuck checking goal because I didn't really think Stockdale was up for the task when we were playing in the divisions and whatnot. So first and foremost, he is an affordable player, guys. He is a player. We're just going to boost this team. This is just before I started playing games with them. I recorded this footage. We are talking about an affordable player. We are talking about a player that uh, a lot of people say, oh, 77 a lot of money yes it is but for a player of this quality it really isn't big standout things to think about are of course his weak foot um, and also his skill moves but let's have a look at some in-game stats guys initially we are going to focus on the skill attributes so 86 on the ball control 91 on the dribbling 81 on the finishing being the obviously standout kind of stats so good ball control good dribbling reasonable shot power at 85 good passing um, pretty decent overall, not massive greens, but you don't expect it with a player that is 77k and obviously 83 rated overall. But clip analysis initially is looking at finishing, dribbling and ball control. So the next few clips are going to be finishing, dribbling. As you can see, he has a lovely finish. What you'll notice, this guy has five star weak foot four-star skills five-star weak foot four-star skills what that means is he can shoot pretty much as good with his right and with his left we'll show you some goals in a little while with both feet as you can see well in his own half just makes his way in and out ducking and weaving ball control finishing all top class and the dribbling to boot it was an absolute pleasure guys using this guy he was great at dribbling really responsive on the controls and he had a wonderful wonderful shot i don't know whether his finishing is a bit low the next set of attributes we're looking at is the big one five star weak foot four star skill moves he's also quite a dinky player at five foot six so he basically can nip in nip out medium medium work rates i would rather have had medium and low work rates as in uh, low defense medium attack or high attack but still look at this guys this was a weak foot um, and a bit of a tap in there but it's about position guys I played him at cam position but switched him up to a striker what's this weak foot no problem at all he's as pretty much as good on his weak foot as he is on his main I switched him up I would initially play him as a cam I would play him for about half the match as a cam and then I would switch him up to striker and I must admit guys he plays better as a striker as he does as a centre attacking mid once again a little bit of space and he just finishes that's with his weak foot guys just caresses it into the corner with his weak foot and I found he is better as a striker being pretty much on that back line means that he can get in and out of the defenders and get stuck in and finally we have physical attributes 87 on the acceleration 89 on the agility 95 on the balance and reactions of 88 these are the big stats also strength of 81 guys you're going to see a goal coming up now and i think it's one of the best goals i've scored in fifa it's this one right here watch this i'll just stay quiet for a minute and you can just watch how's this for a half volley Oh, I was like buzzing when that went in. A little bit of slow motion there for you. Boom! And it was just like, yes, get in there. And it's just reactions. It is down to reactions, ability, agility, balance. That agility, the balance, and the reactions combined with the ball control means that he can do stuff like that. And once again, doing damage from pretty much halfway down the pitch. And he just seems to find space, make his way. And this was all in Division 1 and um, the Gold Cup, by the way, guys. So we were playing against decent opposition. And he was an absolute pleasure looking at agility, balance, and reactions there. So I think it's time to give this guy a rating. 
to reiterate guys 86 on the pace 87 on the dribbling 77 on the shot 80 on the passing 72 on the heading didn't get many headers with him he wasn't really in that kind of position to get headers and um, especially in a 4-1-2-1-2 formation but it's good stuff great shot a really good shot on both feet so very important very strong shrugs people off no problem at all excellent dribbler of the ball five star weak foot four star skills there your standouts combine all those with the reactions the agility the ball control the balance and you might not have all of the skill attributes mark green but where it counts with this guy it is spot on his only cons are his work rates medium medium i would ideally have liked a medium to, to high attacking work rate with a low defensive work rate especially playing him as a striker or a cam or a cf but we're going to give him a 9.5 out of 10 guys if i could have added another three attributes onto the pros it would have been cost because he is fucking dirt cheap for what he is and obviously you've got just abundance of agility balance and control so 9.5 out of 10 guys and for the money just go and buy him the only thing i would say i was chatting to boyle 96 hd and he said that his non-inform is fantastic and he didn't notice much of a difference i've not tried his non-inform but take boyle's advice check his channel out as well um it might be worth checking out his non-inform before you jump in and pay 77k for his inform apart from that guys take care of yourselves like some comment peace love and catch you later